Can you believe we're on part 14 and I still haven't renovated my Sims house? This is so humiliating! It's embarrassing, but hey, we're here for part 14 of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Yay! In the last part, Cerise Montoya got engaged. Was not what I intended to do, but Bob Pancakes kind of rejected us. He was supposed to be our one and only. And then our boyfriend had a girlfriend. He had two girlfriends on the go, one of them being us. And I was like, uh uh, guess what? We're gonna get engaged. But in this part, I really wanna get Garnet to age up because he is a B student. If I can get you to do your homework soon, that'd be absolutely brilliant, but you're asleep, which is great. Oh, you're tired too, but did you do your project? No, you didn't. No, you Sleep is irrelevant. We don't need to sleep. Don't tell me that plant is dead. Why, Why is, is every single plant dead? dead? That toddler's getting its skills up, which is great. Don't make a mess, Tomato. I said Tomato's name really weirdly in a like an episode a couple of episodes ago, and I'm never gonna live that down, honestly. <laughs> tomato. 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 You can get some food in a sec. Whoa, okay. Oh, it's always the potty skill that's the worst though, isn't it? Oh, where did that Wabbit tablet go? Didn't we buy one? Also, it's literally 10 past 10 in the evening when I'm recording this and it is absolutely boiling. It is about 25 degrees Celsius in my house, which I suppose isn't boiling, I guess. Well, it kind of is. For gone 10 p.m., it's absolutely boiling. Let's have a look at the toddler skills. I want to, what's he called? Red. <laughs> so he's communication level two, nearly level three. Imagination's fine. Uh, we won't go for a top-notch toddler this time like Tomato, just because I can't be bothered. Aww. So movement, we have to get up one more. Thinking is nearly at level two, and then there's the, there is the awful cursed, cursed dread, feared, potty skill. skill, which nobody likes. Let's look at our family tree, because we have quite a few now. We have, how many kids do we have? We have six kids. That's not very many. <gasps> Oh god, we're on part, what, 14? And we've got six kids. This is so humiliating! How did I get like this? <laughs> this is embarrassing. <gasps> Tomato didn't do his project. Oh, Tomato, you are a failure. Maybe don't pass out. Maybe don't. Maybe just complete your project. Go to sleep. No, okay. You're too tired to sleep. Makes sense. Just pass out in the garden. Yep, that makes perfect sense. <gasps> he doesn't have red hair! <gasps> no, well I have to change that in Creator Sim. Oh, we got a cow plant! <gasps> Sorry, that was so loud. Look! Look at this! I'm glad that we decided not to wait for the cow plant though, because Ketchup would have definitely aged up by now. Oh yeah, she's aged two days since the Potion of Youth. Oh yeah, she'd be a teen by now. <gasps> but look, we have a cow plant! Catch up! Come and say hello to your new best friend! She's got the bookworm trait. Is she smart? Yeah, I feel like Ketchup is secretly like smart, but she doesn't want to be. Ketchup! It's your best friend! We can name them now, can't we? What goes well with Ketchup? I'm thinking I'm gonna call it Mustard. Because it's Ketchup's like best friend. So it's called Mustard. Oh god, Garnet, did you do your homework? <gasps> I hate you. No! Okay, well. I don't care about how tired you are, you've got to do your homework. Darn it, Garnet. Oh no, are you too tense? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to go and cheat your needs. <laughs> I'm terrible. We're on six kids on episode 14. I don't think cheating a tiny bit is gonna make all the difference, to be honest. Oh, please, Garnet, get your work done. Oh, don't be late to school. Don't be late. No, Garnet, no. So we didn't pay our bills, which is silly because we have a lot of money and our power's been shut off. <laughs> all around me are familiar faces. This keeps happening to me. Why don't we? Because we are losing all our plants by the minute. They keep dying. First, we'll harvest them all. But if I lose my cow plant, I'm going to cry. I don't want my cow plant to die. Mustard deserves to survive. I can't believe I named him Mustard. I can't think of a better name though, and it's Ketchup's best friend, and you know, like Ketchup and Mustard. I don't know, they're two sources that you like think of in conjunction with each other. Like you think of Ketchup, you think of Mustard. How are you doing in school? Are you gonna get your grade up? Oh, it's debatable. I might be stuck with Garnet a bit longer. That's so upsetting. You are dead! <gasps> we have another dead plant! No! I am so bad, I can't look after my plant. 
We need to get Cerise to do writing, I think, because looking after plants is not financially viable anymore. <laughs> no, Garnet, you didn't get your grade up! Garnet! I hate you so much! Do your homework. I hate having a two-story house. I don't like it. I might have to move to another lot. Maybe I'll build the family a new house so that I can take them to a different lot somewhere. Oh, I was going to give you red hair, wasn't I? Okay, let's quickly take you into creatism. Red hair. All our sims are wearing red. I want to get red aged up today. I don't know why I bothered redoing his outfit and everything. Garnet, what are you doing? Right. Garnet, you must have done your homework. You must, you must, you must. 75% done? No, it's not good enough nearly being done. You have to do it. You are a literal nightmare. Oh, look, you're going to get the responsibility trait. That's, that's well good. Also, so we know Ketchup got the irresponsible trait. I also want to get her to get some more traits. I want her to get a mixture of positive and negative ones just so that she feels like a uh, real kind of person because I like to give my sims positive and negative traits and I want her to try and get all of these filled up so we might give her like good manners and bad emotional control and good em empathy I can't even say empathy and like bad conflict resolution or something look she's spontaneously going to make a mess <laughs> somebody wants some food should I get somebody to die who do I not like maybe I'll invite somebody round to my house and then maybe they'll want to eat the cake. <laughs> I mean, listen, ketchup is what? 12 days until she ages up again? I feel like we need somebody to get the essence of life from. But let's just invite loads of people. What? Is my game broken? What? I'm so confused. My game's broken! Help! Hi guys! <laughs> hey, would you like to go and see my cow plant? Can I put my cow plant inside? Okay, one of you wants to go and see my cow plant! One of you wants to eat the delicious cake. Look, it's chocolate cake. Come on. One of you wants to eat my chocolate cake. I know you'll love it. I feel like you want chocolate cake. Why is nobody going into that room? Hey, I think one of you wants to have a chocolate cake. <gasps> Where did my cow plant go? No! <gasps> no! It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Why? Why is my cow plant a baby again? What did I just do? But nobody can eat my chocolate cake! Milk? He needs some milk! Did somebody die? Oh, essence of playfulness? Wait, who got eaten by the cow plant? <gasps> no! <gasps> oh my god, Garnet might die! I didn't want my sims to eat the cake! Oh no! <laughs> Wait, the moodlet lasts two days? Oh my god, Garnet's gonna die! No! <laughs> right, you have to do your project. I don't make the rules. Start working. <gasps> Creativity level 10? Oh my god. Right, bye losers. I don't care if you go. I don't want to cook food. I can't be bothered. Can I get a pizza takeaway at nearly 12am? <laughs> Kebab pizza. I can't believe we ordered a pizza at nearly midnight. Oh my god, seeing the pizza on the table just reminds me of that that viral video on the internet where the guy says, Who ordered the large pepperoni? and jumps into the table. <laughs> they all seem pretty happy with it though, so I'll shove that in the fridge. That's an easy way to stop your sims from dying, isn't it? Not another dead plant! No! Oh, Garnet is a genius. If Garnet's a genius, then why, why did Garnet have to eat the cow plant. Ask Garnet to help you go potty. Okay, we're level two now, great. Garnet, you have to go. Garnet, Garnet, you have to go. Off to school. Oh my god, you've done your homework, you've done your extra credit work, right, study hard all of you. Oh, Cerise is wearing a different outfit today, I don't know what inspired the sudden fashion change and she's like curled her hair. I like her with curly hair though, I think she looks good like that. Okay, let's repair the sink. Oh, ketchup! Not again! Ketchup spent most of recess running around and trying to <laughs> kiss some of the other students. She didn't catch anybody, but the other students were running away. You are dead! Not another one! You are joking me! I should water them, shouldn't I? <laughs> Stupidity isn't a virus, virus, but it, but it sure, sure is friendly like one. Wanna know something really scary? The other day, I was literally lying on my bed, which was too near to my PC, and the blanket's kind of like, I don't know what, te it's like a fleecy texture, and my phone slipped off the blanket and landed splat 
on my PC. My PC that I bought a month ago. <laughs> Imagine how stressed I was earlier when I tried to turn the PC on and the light didn't even light up. Like the, the RGB lighting didn't even turn on to start with. And I was like, oh no, I've broken it. I got really stressed. <laughs> <gasps> You're so close! <gasps> You're so close! Let's cook a strawberry cake, why not? Yes, got it! You got your grade up! Yes! Wait, we can have two birthdays! Oh no, gone, it's leaving us! Oh no! Right, Tomato, you've got to get your grade up soon, so you can be a teen. <laughs> Yay! Got it! I absolutely hate you, so I'm glad you get to leave. Aww. He is an art lover. He's not even a bad sim. He's a genius, a loner, and an art lover. I don't know. He's annoying. <laughs> Should we get Garnet a job? Yeah, we'll get him a job before he moves out. A civil designer. Oh my god, yes, it's time for you to age up. We've got a double birthday. This is absolutely splendid. Red is hot-headed. Oh no. But now we're gonna have to say goodbye to Garnet. Oh my god, this is my second kid moving out now. I feel like Ketchup would have been older. Yeah, Ketchup should be gone by now. This is sad. Look, you get more money together, so that's gonna be great. And now he's not ours anymore. <gasps> I can't believe that we've had two kids move out. This is so sad. So on that note, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. This is... I, I miss... I miss Jasper, not Garnet. <laughs> Please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure to comment me some more red themed baby name suggestions and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye everyone!